This is the MV4534 Automotive Cooling System Pressure Test Kit. The kit consists of pressure pump gauge, quick connect pressure relief, and universal cone that we installed in the radiator neck. The cone is expanded by twisting that, making a seal inside and retaining it. Before insertion in your radiator, make sure you twist it so the unit is elongated as possible. Go all the way back. Coolant by its nature is sometimes has a very slick or oily feature. Clean everything off. You may even need to use a uh, rubber or plastic safe solvent to get uh, any contaminants off there. We'll use that same type of solvent if the neck of the radiator feels slick or oily. Dry it up as much as you can. That will help retention. We'll set the unit in using moderate force. Hold the bottom, twist the top till we get moderate resistance. You don't need to crank on it super hard. Now to test retention. Grab the unit, give it a few firm tugs. We're in place and we're ready to do our pressure test. Every vehicle will have a label or on the pressure cap itself the, what the rating is. This is 108 kilopascals. That turns out to be about 16 PSI. Now the Mighty Vat gauge shows PSI and kilopascals. So we're just a titch over 100. So it's 16 PSI. We'll pump the unit up. Check for leaks. Verify your repairs. Once you've decided everything is okay, we're going to go ahead and release the pressure. If the unit is hot and the coolant is full, when that pressure gets released, sometimes it can burp coolant back. Use a rag to insulate your hand from that hot coolant. Remove the unit. Set this to the side. Hold and twist the unit backwards. Got to remove. Top off with the recommended coolants. Reinstall your pressure cap. Verify your repairs. If you found this video informative, please hit that like, subscribe, post comments below. All MightyVac products can be seen at our website at MightyVac.com.